Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I had posted this video of the yesterday's solution, link called Centroids, Cold Forces Round 670 Division 2. So this had the use of centroids of the tree and various properties of the tree. And due to multiple comments, now I will be making a video of the centroid of the tree and its properties. And in that, I will also prove that the number of centroids is minimum 2 and at most 2. Also, I will be making a video of the other mathematical concepts that will be used later. Okay, so please do watch this video if you haven't watched it yet. Also, I will be streaming. I will be streaming the code chef solutions of the problems exact as the contest ends at 3 pm. So do subscribe and hit the bell button so that you don't miss out on any notifications. So let us move on to the today's topic which is, oh I guess you can't see it, centroid, sorry for the bad writing, the centroid and its properties. Just, a second. Just give me a second. Centroid and properties. So I need to find. So I, what do I need to prove? To prove that to prove that the centroid is. always present sorry if I am going a bit slow but this is a tricky problem and hence we need to go slow so that you understand everything so let us prove that the center is always present so for that let us consider a graph which is a tree with n vertices with n vertices okay so first of all what is a centroid so a centroid maybe i should open notepad for the definitions let me open notepad so what is a centroid let me increase the font size for you a centroid is a vertex which when removed from the tree along with its edges which when removed from the tree along with its edges leaves all the other components with a maximum number of floor n by 2 members. So let us fit this in one place so that you can see. Oh, I'm sorry for this. Okay, so this is the definition. So let us prove the definition now. So we will just go on to the method of how did we calculate the centroid, right? So root the tree. Okay, I will prove it here only. It's easier, not bad, because it's all written to prove. And centroid always exists in the tree. Proof. Consider a tree with n vertices. Group the tree 
एट एनी वोटेक्स से आर रिमूव दिस वोटेक्स इफ ऑल फैक्ट्रीज हैव लेस दैन और इक्वल टू फ्लोर ऑफ एन बाई टू फ्लोर ऑफ एन बाई टू मेंबर्स देन दिस इज और सेंट्रल अदरवाइज देर इज अ सब ट्री विथ ग्रेटर दैन फ्लोर एन बाई टू वर्टाइसिस as only one subtree can have greater than floor n by 2 vertices you can easily see this that only one subtree can have greater than floor n by 2 vertices this is due to the fact that if one more than one subtree has greater than floor n by 2 vertices then that means that we will have greater than n vertices which is contradiction to a assumption that the tree has only one vert n vertices so only one sub tree will have greater than n vertices okay so now greater than n by 2 vertices sorry so now we move let us say that sub trees root is s we move to s and repeat the process at any time the parent containing r would not exceed floor n by 2 members by so this so because suppose the parent exceeds floor n by 2 members and the subtree also has greater than n by 2 members that means that in total it will again lead to greater than n vertices which is a contradiction so you will have only always one subtree and then you move to s and the size of n the size of this subtree always reduces by at least 1 so you will always reach a point when all subtrees have less than equal to floor n by 2 members okay so you will always reach a point when all subtrees have less than equal to floor n by 2 members that will be the point where program terminates okay so this proves that a centroid is always present in the tree now the next property i need to prove is to prove that at most two centroids can exist in a tree and they are always connected okay this is very easy to prove okay so just assume that there are two centroids they are let us say they are not connected okay not connected and they are always adjacent yeah i misused the word they are always adjacent okay because in a tree all members are connected always so let us say they are not adjacent okay so there is at least one vertex between them this is our centroid one this is our centroid two and this is our vertex any one so we i okay so it has a subtree 1 it has a subtree 2 it has a subtree 
and let us say this also has some n sub trees this, this has n sub trees okay n sub trees and this has say suppose n sub trees each with less than n by 2 members as you can see okay so the and the sum of all vertices the sum of the number of the all vertices is n because there are n vertices in the tree now you can see that to the left to the right of c1 that is to the right of centroid 1 you will have less than n by 2 vertices and to the right of c2 also you will have less than n by 2 vertices and c1 and c2 are not connected that means there are two vertices here so the total number of vertices here will be less than n by 2 minus 2 which is a float okay and here they will be less than floor of sorry here um, let me erase this the floor is only on this n by 2 here also the floor n by 2 minus 2 so basically the total number of vertices that are here and here are less than 2 times of floor of n by 2 minus 4 considering these three vertices they are less than twice of floor of n by 2 minus 1 which is certainly less than n right because okay take n equals 4 which is even the answer you will get is this is 4 by 2 2 2 2 4 4 minus 1 is 3 so it is less than n and take n equals odd which is 5 5 by 2 2 2 2 4 4 minus 1 3 it is less than n that means there can't be a vertex here so if there are two centroids they have to be connected first thing we proved next thing there can't be more than 3 there can't be more than 3 centroids this is very easy to prove using this property this is because if there are 2 centroids C1 and C2 they have to be always connected they have to be always adjacent sorry I am using the word connected repeatedly so let us suppose there is a vertex centroid C3 so as this is a tree it can't be connected to both this is because there then it would become a cycle and there are no cycles in the tree but if it is connected to only one that means between centroid c2 and c3 there is a vertex v so in the same case we will lead to a contradiction hence there can be at most two centroids so here we have proved that there can be there is always a unique there is always a single centroid present in a tree and there can be at most two centroids present in a tree so thank you so much for watching this video i hope you understood the concept please do like share and subscribe and if you have any other doubts or you want me to make any video or any other topic do leave it in the comments Bye.